Hello children, you are most welcome to the science class today. Chapter 2, Acid, Bases and Salts. Part 3 of 4 we are going to learn. It starts from the page number 27 to 30. Clear? So, just we are going to have some glance that is what are the points we have learnt in the previous classes. So, learning points that is properties of acid and bases. How do acids and bases react with each other? How strong are acid or base solutions? And importance of pH in everyday life, chemicals from common salts. So, these are the topics what we are going to learn in this chapter. Okay? So, in the part 2, first we have learnt about properties of acids and bases. In that, we have learnt about organic acid and mineral acids. Okay, this just recapitulation of the part what you have studied. So, organic acids are natural acids which are available in fruits and there is some of the animals. Mineral acids are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, etc. So, we also learnt about how to identify by using indicators and reaction of metals with the acid and bases and how to identify the hydrogen gas as well as carbon dioxide gas which is going to be released in this. We have learnt that one. No? So, in the second, next part, how strong are acid or base solutions? Okay? Importance of pH in everyday life and sodium hydroxide. About this, we are going to learn importance of pH in everyday life. Our body works within the pH range of 7 to 7.8. When the pH of rainwater is less than 5.6, it is called acid rain. You know that how the acid rains are going to cause and what are the pollution in this one, social science also you have learned, no? so air pollution, water pollution all in that one you have learned. So, here rain water while falling, it dissolves some of the substances such as carbon dioxide, sulphur dioxide which is present to form their respective acids and they will fall to the earth, that means in the ground. So, when they flow, the pH value will be more, when the pH value checks, the rain water pH value should be 7. Okay. But if it is going to be 5.6, then it is said to be acidic. So, the rain we call it as acid rain. It causes lot of damages to the environment. So, when acid rain flows into the rivers, what will happen? The pH value of the river is going to be reduced. So, at that time, survival of the aquatic life becomes very difficult. Aquatic life means it is maybe fauna and flora. Fauna means animals, flora is plants. So, they cannot survive at the high pH values, it is very difficult. Even for the other animals also, if we drink also it is dangerous because it is acidic in more acidic in nature. So, it causes several diseases also. So, acid rain should be avoided. Okay? See, plants requires a specific range of pH for healthy growth also. See, the healthy grown plants what we have taken here. So, they are going to be healthy when the pH is going to be in the specific. So, each and every plant requires one specific range of pH. See here all they will maintain the specific uh, range of pH in this one. See different plants are there. So, different plants require different pH. So, that is why they are going to add some of the chemicals, the bases or acid to maintain the pH value for that one. Okay? So, by that the plants will grow luxuriously. So, how to check that pH value of this water? So, here see this is the pH test kit it is there. So, here we have to take the soil of the given garden or the plant. So, that you have to put it in that in the small quantity and we have to add water. So, then you can see the pH values and with the, we have to compare the color of that one with the given solution. The color chart is there see. So, if we, uh, we have to fill the water up to the level in the first. Okay? The soil also the mark is given. So, then the color indicates the pH value. See, pH 7.5 means it is alkaline. Okay? Alkaline means little basic in nature. pH 7, it is neutral. So, the color will be green color. 6.5, it gives light yellow color that is acidic in nature. Okay? pH 6.5, acid, slight acid. pH 6, acid. So, color you see, it is turning towards the orange color. Okay? pH 5.5, little darker. Okay, that is also acidic and pH value if it is going to be 4.5 very acidic. So, this is the soil structure which is having pH value. Children, how the pH will change in the garden? 
garden or the agriculture land how it is going to change you know that we are going to use the fertilizer for the growth of these plants the fertilizers what we are adding to that one that increases the soil ph fertilizers that is artificial one urea and other things what we are adding for that one so that increases the acidic acidity of the soil when we use this excess of fertilizers what will happen the acidity of the soil is going to be increased so by that the plants cannot grow properly so let us see how the plants are going to be how we develop luxuriously with a particular ph value different uh, vegetable plants are different plants require different ph value for this one so let us see that so crop and soil ph value which is suitable for the growth of this one one is green peas so 6 to 7.5 is a suitable ph value for that one beetroot 6 to 7.5 cabbage 5.5 to 7.5 cucumber 5.5 to 7 watermelon 5.5 to 6.5 garlic 5.5 to 7.5 tomato 5.5 to 7.5 so these are the ph values like that each and every crop is going to have some ph values to grow properly so we have to maintain so before growing this one before sowing this what you have to do we should check the ph value of the uh, soil so even in our digestive system ph is very important why because our stomach produces hydrochloric acid it helps in the digestion of food without harming the stomach how stomach wall is lined with this mucous membrane so in the inside the stomach there is belly so there some special cells are there they secrete some mucus so this mucus will avoid the action of hydrochloric acid on the tiss tissues of the stomach so that's why it will not harm that one okay so without harming that will help the food to digest easily okay acidic nature is required little bit so that's why it is going to be happen sometimes if you have more acid in this one is you might have taken some other food items that is vinegar and all in the food items that is gobi manchuri and uh, some special dishes you are going to take with which is acidic in nature so it causes indigestion so during indigestion the stomach produces too much acid and it causes the pain and irritation also so already hydrochloric acid is there so we are adding some more acidic for that one it causes too much pain and irritation is going to be occur in the stomach okay so to get rid of this pain people use a base called antacid antacid for example magnesium hydroxide yeah, mgh twice so there is a magnesium hydroxide is going to be used to relieve this the pain it is also commonly known as milk of magnesia milk of magnesia next antacids they neutralize the excess acid because antacids are basic in nature so these bases react with the antacid that means react with the acid which is there in the stomach hydrochloric acid or any other acid which is present in the stomach is going to be neutralized by taking antacids okay so mainly the action of this one is antacid neutralize the excess of acid clear okay see children what is Oh, excellent! This is our tooth. How? What happened to this one? You children are fond of eating chocolate, sugar, and other things, no sweets and all, and food also you will take, and you will not wash your mouth after eating, isn't it? So, if you are not washing, what will happen? The food is going to be stay in between the teeth, and it is going to cause this type of decay. So, tooth decay is going to be happen. This also because of pH changes. Okay, so. pH change as the cause of tooth decay we can say that is the cause of tooth decay so tooth decay starts when the ph of the mouth is less than 5.5 you know that tooth is the hardest part that tooth enamel is there no that is the hardest part in the body okay so the tooth enamel it is made up of calcium hydroxy apatite tooth enamel that is shining part of the tooth is made up of calcium hydroxy apatite so it is a crystalline form of calcium phosphate so it is very hard even though it is hardest substance in the body it is corroded when the ph in the mouth is is below 5.5 ph value is plays very important role in this one what will happen bacteria present in the mouth produces acids by degradation of sugar and food particles which are remaining in the mouth after eating 
Okay, so what will happen? It is going to cause pH value more, and it acts on the enamel. The acid acts on the enamel, and it is going to be weakened, and it starts decaying. So to prevent this one, what you have to do? You have to clean the mouth after eating using toothpaste. Okay, any kind of toothpaste you can use it. So toothpaste are there. Toothpaste are generally basic in nature. The toothpaste what we are using for cleaning our mouth that is generally basic. They can neutralize the excess of acid which is present in the mouth, and they will prevent the decay of the tooth. So this is the how in the man. But in the plants and animals also we can see see self defense by animals and plants through chemical warfare. What we say. So you are familiar with the bee sting, no? So bee sting when the bee is going to sting on the body, what will happen? The they have the sharp needle-like structure which will. Sting into the skin, and it leaves an acid which causes pain and irritation. So immediately we are going to get the red mark on that one, and uh, irritation will be there, and it's going to be swollen up. So how to get rid of this one? You have to use a mild base. Use of mild base like baking soda on the stung area. On the stung area gives relief for us. So for example, in the hand, it is. And the hand is going to stung. So take some baking soda, make a paste of it, and apply the place where it is going to be stung, hand or mouth or face or anything. That place you have to apply. So by that, what will happen? You will get relief. Why? This soda neutralizes the acid which is present in the stung. That is methanoic acid which is present in the bee stung. That is going to cause irritation. So next you see nettle plant. Nettle plant, turke, giranta, idan kannadal karithi. See that the needles how they are hair-like structures which are protruding out. So they have methanoic acid in them. So when they come in contact the the skin, or uh, it will lose the acid inside. Once again, it causes irritation and pain. So what is the relief we see? Okay, stinging hairs of the nettle leaves. Inject methanoic acid, causing. Burning pain, burning sensation will be way more in this one. Okay, so there is a traditional remedy for this also. Okay, traditional remedy is rubbing the area with a leaf of dark plant. Dark plant. Can you tell me that? Pullam purchi in that kari thare. You know this one. How do dark plant that are? Pullam purchi. That is the image. It is called dark plant. So nearby the nettle plant, so nearby surroundings only, they will grow. This is a common weed we can see in this area. So this plant leaves if you take and rub it on the place where the nettle plant has been stung. Okay, so it is going to leave. So it contains some base that may have some acidic. Okay, I think you understood what the remedy can be. You can search the remedy nearby the plant itself. Okay, okay. Now we are going to learn about the. Chemicals from common salt. You know the common salt, sodium chloride, which is used for our baking, cooking. You see, no common salt. So this is the one we can have several, several items. Okay. So what is salt? Salt we use in the food. It is a neutral salt. What is salt? That is the product which is obtained by the combination of acid and base. Salt is obtained by the reaction of Acid and base. That is the salt. Okay. Common salt means sodium chloride, NaOH plus HCl. Gives NaCl plus H2O. Okay. H2O. No? So this is the reaction. What we have seen. This is the neutral salt. So the salt we use in the food is neutral. The pH is seven. Sea water contains sea water, ocean water. So on salt lakes, we can see the large or huge amount of deposit of salts are there in it. Okay, they are dissolved in the water. So sodium chloride, which is present in this one, is going to be separated from the salt. See the heap of this one. So the near the sea, they are going to make the land beds. That is the uh, place they are going to make. And this one, they will fill the salt water, ocean water, or sea water, or lake water. They are going to fill it. So after giving for some days, it is going to be uh, converted to crystals. The water will evaporate, leaving the salt crystals. This is how the salt is going to be. See the area. That side you are seeing the ocean. So this side you are seeing the. Not only this one. Some deposits of solid salts are also found in several parts of the world. 
solid salts also present in this one okay this is called rock salt kalluppu anta karithara kalluppu athava sendriya lavana anta karithidana so there is in the all over the parts we can see in the land also even in uh, india we are going to get in the nearby a place in sambar in rajasthan so the rock salt is uh, somewhat brownish red in color so beds of rock salts were formed when seas of bygone age dried up so common salt is an important raw material for various substances like sodium hydroxide baking soda washing soda bleaching powder etc so not only for preparing food and eating we are going to use this one for many purposes okay so let us go for sodium hydroxide is one of the product what we are going to get so here by passing electricity through an aqueous solution of sodium chloride that is brain solution we call it as brain solution brain solution decomposes to form sodium hydroxide naoh this process is called chlor alkali process why we are calling it as chlor alkali chlorine is going to obtain from sodium chloride and sodium from sodium hydroxide so these two combine that is chlor alkali process what we see okay this is very important so how they are going to do this one this is the an experiment we are going to get this one see this is the tank which is containing this one and there is a membrane in between Mem thin membrane or porous membrane is in between and there are two electrodes are there so one is anode positive charge one which is connected to the positive positive and cathode which is connected to the negative and there are two openings in the above that is upper side and two openings in the down sides so one side we are going to fill the send the brain solution into the tank and other two are the gases which are coming out that is chlorine and hydrogen which are going to be come out so chlorine is towards the anode it is coming out and uh, hydrogen is coming towards the cathode and you can see the ions which are formed here Na plus Cl minus OH minus and H plus also is forming here. So these ions are going to go to the opposite charge charges and there they are going to get neutralized. That means they will join with the other molecules and they will lose the charge and they are going to be come out in the form of gases. Clear? So here each product what we are getting here, chlorine, hydrogen, and sodium hydroxide, they have. industrial uses so let us see what are the uses of this one so chlorine which is coming out we are going to see okay we'll see this what is the equation with the reaction how it happens so the equation we are going to see this one 2 nacl plus 2 h2o gives 2 naoh plus cl2 plus h2 here we are getting sodium chloride water in the red liquid that is aqueous solution so sodium hydroxide is forming here and chlorine gas is liberated along with that hydrogen gas also is liberated in this one so these are the product so since they are going to come towards the positive uh, plus that is the anode anode which is a positive pole since chlorine is having negative charge that will come to chlorine ions that is cl minus they will come to the positive pole and they will join with the another chlorine atom as the chlorine gas is going to be come out escapes out okay so the cathode that is negative pole hydrogen is having h plus that means uh, h plus plus h plus gives h2 and as a gas it is going to be liberated and the same in the cathode na plus and oh ions are going to be joined to form naoh that is sodium hydroxide into produced so hydrogen gas escapes and sodium hydroxide it will be utilized for the other purposes we can collect it So, what are the uses of these products? We are going to see chlorine. You know that chlorine is going to use for water treatment, drinking water, to to kill the germs. So that's why we are going to use this for the treatment of chlorine, the treatment of drinking water, or even in the swimming pools they are going to use it. Okay, because to we have to kill the microorganisms which are present in the swimming pools, and they are it is going to be used in the manufacture of. pvc polyvinyl chloride which is a plastic so that is going to be produced and it is a disinfectant it is going to be used as a disinfectant okay then cfcs chlorofluorocarbons so which are going to be used in the refrigerators for as a cooling agents okay then pesticides so since chlorine is a poisonous material lightly poisonous and it is going to use for pesticides in the manufacture of pesticides 
Okay. So next we go for uses of hydrogen gas. So you might have seen hydrogen gas is going to be used as fuel because it's a combustible gas. That's why it's going to use as a fuel. And margarine is going to be obtained by this one by using this one. Margarine alternate for butter. Benne tarana irate, atala andre benne Okay. Next ammonia for fertilizers. So they are going to use this one to produce the fertilizers which are helpful for the agriculture. So these are the products and very useful. Next one is sodium hydroxide NaOH. You know that degreasing the metals. What do you mean by this degreasing? Oily surfaces will be there because we are going to put the grease oils and greases for the metals. Because to avoid the rust we have to we have done it. So by using this sodium hydroxide, we can remove the oily part of this one. Okay. Then in the manufacture of soap and detergents also we can use it. In the manufacture of soaps and detergents. And even the paper making they are going to use to clean the pulp and other things they are going to use. And also it is used in the artificial fibers, fibers and thread. Okay. In the manufacture of artificial fibers they are going to use. So today what we have learned, let us know importance of pH in our daily life, everyday life. That is, and we have learnt about sodium hydroxide and pH in our digestive system. We have learnt. Okay, so pH changes as the cause of the two decay. Also, we learned that is the pH. If you are not going to wash your mouth, it causes the decay of the enamel. Enamel is going to be rupture, and it causes holes in the tooth. There is nothing but decay, which is painful. Also, no. Self-defense by animals and plants through the chemical warfare that is nettle plant by even ants and honeybees also will be. Red ants, no? Chempirve. Red ants, if they stung also, they have methanoic acid that is going to inject it to the body. So by that it causes irritation and pain, methanoic acid and they will protect the areas, okay? That surrounding area that where they will live, dwelling places are going to be protected by these acids also. So these are all mechanisms which are developed by in the animal kingdom okay so next it is the activity time that we are going to learn about this collect samples of soil from agriculture land surrounding your school test for ph and find out the plants that are suitable to grow in that soil okay not only doing that one you have to discuss with your teachers and friends okay how you check the ph value so what are the uses of this one? How we can change the pH? That is, uh, if it is acidic, we can change it to basic. Or if it is basic, we can change it to acidic. Or even make it to neutral also. And also we have to learn how important role it plays in the plant's growth. Okay, this is one activity. Next activity, you know that salt is used for cooking in the house no? we are going to use household purpose cooking uh, for that uh, uh, for the sambars dals everything we are using no? for every each and every food we are going to add salt and uh, to give the taste is it the only use no it is also used in industries for several purposes the salt is going to be used in the industries so what is your duty or activity not duty sorry activity what is your activity find out their uses and list them for what purpose they are using the salt in the industries and what is the byproducts for they are going to get and all you list it out okay this is the activity so interesting now you can do it yourself okay next it is the quiz time where we arrived at the quiz time also so tooth decay occurs in this pH value options are there 7.35 7.6.4 5.4. I think you know the answer already we discussed it just now. Answer is 5.5. Clear? So 5 point means the 7.5. When you go for this one, see 7.35 it is lightly basic in nature. 7 is neutral, 6.4 is acidic in nature. Even 5.4 is more acidic. More acidic is there. So enamel is going to be affected at the pH value less than 5.5. That is more acidic in nature. Elamol is the strongest part of the body. Even it is in this acidic condition, they are going to be 
decayed. Okay, they are going to be acted and it is going to be decayed. So, the answer is 5.5. Next one, toothpaste is used to reduce to decay. The property of toothpaste responsible for this one is option acidity, alkalinity, neutrality, corrosiveness. So, these are the options. So, which is the correct answer? Think alkalinity. So, alkalinity because of the alkalinity, the alkalinity means nothing but base, okay, basicity. So, this base will act acid which is present in the mouth and that will be neutralized. So, that property we are utilizing to avoid the tooth decay. Clear now? Next, we go for another piece. Flow of electric current through the acid or base solution is due to the production of gases in them, salts, atoms and ions. So, which is the responsible to carry the current from anode to cathode? What makes it? Yes, your answer may be correct. Let us see ions. Very good. So, ions are responsible for this one. When the acid or base is going to be dissolved in water, when acid or base dissolves in water, it will dissociate into ions, positive and negative ions are going to be produced. For example, Na plus OH minus, H plus Cl minus, like that they are going to dissociate. So, they are ions. So, these ions will move to the opposite poles. Positive ions will go to negative, that is anion, anode and cathode. So, they will move to the respective poles. That means, negative charge particles will go to positive, positive, positive charge particles go to uh, negative pole. So, this is called ions. So, these are responsible for the conducting electricity in acid or base in alkaline solution, okay, in solution. Okay. Now, we go for another one. Chlorine is used as, used to clean swimming pool. The property of chlorine responsible for this one. So, chlorine glass bleaching powder, they will say. So, bleaching powder, it releases the chlorine gas also. Even they are going to use liquid chlorine to clean the swimming pools. So, why? So, options are like this. Decolorization, disinfection, dewaterization, fragrance. Okay. So, decolorization means the water, if it is having any dirt or uh, color is going to be some brownish or if they use this one, think of that. Okay. Next, disinfection. Disinfection means it is going to kill the germs or microbes which are present in the water. Deodorization, if any bad smell is there because chlorine is having a particular pungent smell. So, it is going to uh, deodorize. Is it the reason? or fragrance to give the pleasant smell for that water. So, which is the answer? Think of yourself. Good. Disinfection. So, this is the chlorine is going to use to clean the swimming pool because of it has the disinfection property. So, this is the one which is correct. Okay. So, so far we have learnt and this